Question number 8. Find the exact solution of the equation 8 to the power 2x plus 1 equals 6. Give your answer in the form a plus b log 3 to the base 2, where, where a and b are constants. This question carries 4 marks. So they want you to find the exact solution of this equation in this form. So you need to find the equation, the solution of this equation. You, need, you have to write the solution in this form. Here you can see the base of the logarithm is 2. That's very important when you solve it. So rewrite this using logarithms. You can write it as log 6 to the base 8 equals 2x plus 1. This is how we rewrite this using logarithm. But we don't want base 8, we want base 3, base 2. You need to know how to change the base of the logarithm. Let's say you have log b to the base 8. You need to change the base to something else. You can write it as log b divided by log a. And you can put any base here. That's how we change the base of the logarithm. So in this case, you can write it as log 6 divided by log 8. And we need base 2, so just put it as base 2. That's it. And solve it. Log, two, uh, log 6 to the base 6, this value, log 8 to the base, uh, log 8 to the base 2 is 3 if you use your calculator. And bring the 1 here. So 1 upon 3 log 6 to the base 2 minus 1 equals x, 2x. Divide everything by 2, x equals, uh, we want in this form, so minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 6 log 6 to the base 2. This exactly looks like this form, a plus b log 3. Okay, we are not supposed to have 6 here, we need to have 3. Maybe you can write this 6 as 2 times 3 and split them. So when you split them, it's minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 6 into log a times b using laws of logarithms can be written as log a plus log b to the base 2. The value of this is 1, log 2 to the base 2 is 1. So take 1 by 6 and multiply both. You will have minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 log 3 to the base 2. And then simplify this. We will multiply and divide by 3. So you will have minus 3 by 6 plus 1 by 6 is minus 2 by 6. Which is minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 6 log 3 to the base 2. That's it. I was about to stop here. That's why you need to pay attention to the question. Read the question very carefully. It's not log 6, it's log 3. So you split the 6 into 2 terms and then simplify. Put all the constants to numbers here and the logarithmic function here. So this will be the, this looks exactly like a plus b log 3. That's your final answer. Part 2. Using the laws of logarithms, solve log 7 minus 2y to the base 5 equals 2 log of y plus 1 to the base 5 minus 1. The question carries 5 marks. And now the part 2, they want you to solve this logarithmic equation. So what do we do? We put all the logarithmic functions to one side of the equation. So you can write it as log 7 minus 2y to the base 5 equals. You can Put this 2 as a power of y plus 1 using laws of logarithms. You can write it as square to the base 5 minus 1. Collect all the logarithmic functions to one side of the equation. Bring it here. So you will have log a minus b. Apply laws of logarithm log a upon b. y plus 1 whole square equals minus 1. Applying laws of logarithms. Now rewrite this using powers. Your base to the power minus 1 equals this. 7 minus 2y divided by y plus 1 whole square. Bring this y plus 1 whole square here. Maybe what, what, uh, 5 to the power minus 1. You can write it as 1 upon 5. And cross multiply 
and try to form a quadratic equation and solve it. So bring the y plus 1 whole square here equals 5 into 7 minus 2. Now simplify this, you will have y square plus 2y, okay, y square plus 2y plus 1 equals 35 minus 10y. So this comes here, it becomes 12y minus 35. y square plus 12y minus 34 is 0. Solve this quadratic equation, you will get two y values. You get minus 6 plus square root of 70 and minus 6 minus square root of 70. You got two values. You cannot just neglect one value. You, we need to check properly which one can be the solution of this equation. How do we check? Okay, this number, we check whether it's a positive or negative number. Square root of 36 is apparently more than 6. 7 square is 49. 8 square is 64. So when you find the decimal value of this, it's going to be a positive number. This will be a negative number. So this is positive. This is negative. Now we got two values. We are going to plug in these values into the actual equation and check whether any one of these logarithmic function here, at least one of the logarithmic function is a negative one, log of a negative number. So you can say it is not a feasible solution because log them cannot be a negative number. So when you substitute here, this negative number here, minus, this is apparently more than one, so you will get a negative number here, logarithm of a negative number. So this is not a possible solution. Now, when you substitute the positive number here, it's positive, this also one, it's logarithm, logarithm of a positive number. When you substitute this in here, seven minus two into the decimal value of this is two point something. Let's say even if it is three, you will have 7 minus 2 times 3. 7 minus x is log 1. It's a positive number. It's not a negative number. So we take only this as our solution. So this is very important. Whenever you get two solutions, you are not supposed to neglect the number just because it's a negative. Or you cannot take only the positive number. You always need to substitute back into the logarithmic equation and check whether any one of these uh, logarithmic logarithmics uh, function turn out to be a negative one then you can say it's not the solution 